Hello and welcome to the fourth tutorial in the SFML 2.1 tutorial series and in this part we're going to be looking at keyboard events. We'll be using the source code from the previous part of the series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. SFML provides great functionality to handle events triggered by the keyboard. We will be looking at detecting uh, the following, when a key has been pressed, when a key has been released, when a particular key had been pressed, for example, the letter A, when a particular key had been released, again, maybe the letter A. And to do this, really simple. First of all, we're going to look at the pressed events. You add a new case in this switch event.type statement. And for this, we're going to do ff event key pressed colon. And now in here, I'm going to do stdc, actually, one second, I need to include the IO stream. We're just going to include it so we can print out some information if certain keys are pressed. Obviously, you may want to do something else. So we're going to do stdc out. He has been pressed. Let's just std and line break. Let's run this now. And when I click a key, it says key has been pressed. But that's just detecting when any key has been pressed. So to detect a particular key, we're going to do another switch statement within this case. We're going to do switch. And what we're going to switch on this time is event.key.code. And now what we're going to do is case. And we're going to detect the letter A. So A, colon, and we're just going to put STDC out A, STD and line break. So now let's just run this. Okay, so if I'm just going to click the letter Y, it says, let's move this over a little bit, it says key has been pressed U. B, but now I'm going to click A, it says key has been pressed plus it printed out A, because you have to detect that the A key was pressed. That's it for the key pressed. Um, we're going to be looking at the key release now, so we're going to do another case in the this switch statement, the one on event.type, and that's going to be case SF event key released colon, I'm going to do std. C out. We're going to do key. Key has been re released. TD and line. And it's going to do a simple break. Now we're ready to run this again. Let's move this over. So if I click the T button, then release it. It says key has been released. Click the I key has been released. Now let's actually detect when a particular key has been released. So let's do switch. I think you can sort of guess what it's going to be. It's going to be event.key.code. And in here, same as this, we're just going to do case SF keyboard. And I'm going to detect when the letter J has been released. Obviously, there's other ones on there like spacebar, the back button, etc. But we're just going to deal with letters for now. Break and in here, we're going to do std c out j released std and line. Now let's just run this. I'll click. I'm going to click the letter u. Key has been pressed and key has released. Click the letter K, key has been pressed, key has been released. Click the letter J, key has been pressed, key has been released, and J has been released. Because we clicked the letter J and it picked up what letter we would uh, try and what letter we did actually release. That is it for this tutorial on key events. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at mouse events. 
If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching and hope you have a great day.